Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a quick first impressions video for you on the Dam Designs Yokai in titanium. So this is not a titanium frame lock, by the way. It's a titanium liner lock, which is not something we see all the time, but it does fit Dam Designs business model pretty well. Um, now, the big thing here is, or the reason that I'm getting this now, even though I've been watching and been interested in picking up something from Dam Designs for a while, is recently they are now, they have been stocked by Justin over at White Mountain Knives. So if you want one, you can go over there. They still have a bunch in stock. They're fairly affordable. Uh, and you can use my discount code SHARPSTUFF to save 10% off, making them even that much more affordable. But uh, you can get something similar to this just without the titanium for like 60 bucks, which is pretty nice. Anyway. Uh, let me let me give you my initial thoughts on this. Um, I guess first of all, yeah, I've been wanting something from Dam Designs for a long time. I find the the overall look of these, and they're all very similar. There's certainly a, a flavor that they have, but I, it's a flavor that I like. It's a design that I like a whole lot. Um, anyway. I've been looking for a while since Justin got them. I thought I'd go ahead and pull the trigger. And I have to say, I am pretty impressed. There are a couple little things that stand out to me. Look at the uniformity in the finish, the cleanness of those grind lines on the blade. Really nicely done. Check out this decorative pivot here and just how clean and tight it is. Even the uh, the insert for the lock bar on the on the show side everything is just tight and clean and finished well uh, i have to say i'm very very impressed by just the overall level attention to detail on this knife the other thing i have to say is they're a pretty good value you know it's kind of a different knife it's interesting not everyone is going to have one and a lot of times that comes with a pretty high price tag but not so on these as i was saying you know uh, there's a bunch of g10 models over at white mountain knives right now for between 60 and 80 dollars and then if you go up to the titanium there's a bunch of titanium there as well uh, they're going to be like 115 or 120 so again not that bad at all um, now, one of the reasons they're a little more affordable is the steel on this is 14C28N. You guys know that I love that steel. In fact, my favorite of sort of the, the budget steels. Uh, performance is going to be very, very good on that. And so uh, to me, well, yeah, that's a little bit of a cheaper materials option. It's also an option that I personally like quite a bit. And I'm happy to see that if you're going to make a compromise, that's a great compromise to make because you're still getting a really, really good steel um up front then we've got this tanto blade obviously you know this is just one of their many designs so we've got this tanto blade with a heavy heavy stone wash on it really nice look at the clean finish there the way those those various lines on the tanto kind of come together really really well done uh, let me hit on size and weight here before uh, I move on to my my sort of general overall first impression. All right, um, this is almost eight and one eighth inches overall, three and three sixteenths, um, three and three sixteenths on the blade. That's measured from here. So you can see, like, see how the handle kind of jumps up quite a bit. So in fact, if you measure cutting edge, it's gonna be more than three and three sixteenths, but the blade ends up measuring kind of on the shorter side because of that. Um, you know, and that's one thing that I will say about this particular design and all knives that are like this, you know, it kind of puts me in mind of the Zero Tolerance Zero 0200 and a bunch of other knives out there. Um, it does limit that blade to handle ratio just a little bit. Uh, so that's the blade length, three and three sixteenths, four and seven eighths when closed. All right. so just under five inches. So it's a fairly big knife in pocket, three and three quarter inches of grip area, which is pretty generous. Great finger toil. I have to, I know I'm getting out of, out of line here, but the ergonomics on this are phenomenal. Um, and, and so, you know, I think the weight here is 6.4 ounces, which is gonna put some people off. It's gonna be a lot lighter if you go with the G10 version. Um, but that, that feel in hand is really really excellent I have to say um, yeah very very well done um, and that's you know just the shape and the the contour of the handle and all of that come together to make this just a knife that that seems to fit the human hand exceptionally well um, so 
Uh, now that I've kind of given you the, the rundown of the basic features and the things that interested me about this knife, um, what are my overall thoughts? Well, yeah, I, I'm pretty impressed by this. Um, I like the I like the design. I like the design a lot, and I have for a long, long time. And now that I've got it in hand, I also have to say I really like the ergonomics. I like the materials. I like the action. The liner lock is very accessible. So, yeah, overall, I'm pretty darn impressed by this, and I feel pretty comfortable recommending it. Again, if you want one, go check out Justin at White Mountain Knives, or of course you can go directly to Dam Design's website, and there you get some options that are interesting. You can sort of mix and match, um, you know, you might be able to look at this model, which again is the Yokai, um, and you might be able to pick S35VN for the blade and G10 for the handle, and you know, sort of, and that'll, that'll influence the price as well, but you get sort of that ability to customize just a little bit. Uh, obviously, you're not going to get that at a regular retailer. If you go to, to Justin, yeah, you'll save a little bit of money, but you'll have to kind of pick whatever he's got in stock. So there you go, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will talk to you soon.